London. These bands make music. In this edition, we present the BBC Review Orchestra, leader Boris Pecker, and conducted by Charles Groves. And here is Barbara McFadden to tell you about the show. It would certainly be a difficult job to choose a musical autograph for the BBC Review Orchestra, because, as you'll be able to hear today, they're equally at home accompanying a great singer like Joan Hammond, increasing the atmosphere of a musical play or putting plenty of rhythm into a Gershwin number. It's only since the war that this orchestra has existed under its present title. Before that, its members formed the Television Orchestra in the days when the BBC was pioneering the world in the field of television. When the war came, television was needed for much less peaceful pastimes than entertainment, and so the orchestra became the BBC Review Orchestra. First of all, let's flash back to those pre-war days when ballet found a new medium and our television screens gave us William Walton's Facade. After that glimpse of television, for the rest of the program, I want to try and give you an impression of the many roles which the BBC Review Orchestra has played. I remember them particularly in Spike Hughes' play based on the historical story of Marling, the tragic tale of Rudolf of Habsburg and Marie Wetzera. To suit the setting of this play, the famous Strauss waltz, Tales from the Vienna Woods, was used as the main theme. And it's this that the BBC Review Orchestra is going to play now, Tales from the Vienna Woods. <laughs>
Radio versions of musical films are very popular in England, and this orchestra has taken part in many of these broadcasts. One of the most successful of them was the radio adaptation of the Judy Garland Mickey Rooney film, Babes in Arms. So we'd like to give you an idea of what you might have heard if you'd been listening one evening in 1940 when the BBC announced... Babes in Arms. <laughs> The setting of our story is Broadway, and we find our hero and heroine trying to sell a song that Mickey has written. Oh, please, Mr. Randall. It won't take a moment. We'll sing it to you now, okay? Let's try. Good morning, good morning. We've danced the whole night through. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. It's great to stay up late. Good morning, good morning to you. When the band began to play, the stars were shining bright. Now the milkman's on his way. It's too late to say good night. So good morning, good morning. Some beans are too smart. Good morning, good morning to you. Here we are together, a couple of stayer-uppers. Our day is done at breakfast time and starts in with our suppers. Here we are together, but the best of friends must party. So let me sing this parting song from the bottom of my hearty. Good morning. It's a lovely morning. Good morning. What a wonderful day. We danced the whole night through. Good morning. Good morning to you. How do you do, 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 do. I say good morning. See the sun is shining. Good morning. Hear the birdies sing. It's great to stay out late. Good morning. Good morning to you. When the band began to play, the stars were shining bright. Now the milkman's on his way. It's too late to say goodnight. Good morning. Good morning. Sunbeams will soon smile through. Good morning. Good morning. Sell it, Ma, sell it. Good morning, my darling, to you. Well, the song is sold, but that's not the end of their troubles. We've got to put on a show that'll make money, see? Otherwise, well, I guess we won't look too good wearing the uniform of some school that don't understand us or our folks. Our folks are troopers, and we're troopers, so let's get on with the next number, okay? <laughs> That we have met before and loved before and loved before, but who knows when or where? When you're awake, the things you think. 
come from the dreams you dream. Thought has wings, and lots of things are seldom what they seem. Sometimes you think you've lived before all that you live today. Things you do come back to you as though they knew the way. All the tricks your mind can play. It seems we stood and talked like this before. We looked at each other in the same way then, but I can't remember where or when. The clothes you're wearing are the clothes you wore. The smile you are smiling, you were smiling then, but I can't remember where. Or when some things that happen for the first time seem to be happening again, and so it seems that we have met. And love before and love before but who knows well or well in the end of course all turns out well Mickey and Judy hit Broadway, and they all live happily ever after. Now, in wartime, we have to spend our holidays at home. But if we can't go to the seaside, then the BBC does its best to bring the seaside to us. I mean, the sort of music that we might hear sitting in our deck chairs on the promenade or on the pier. In the series Bandstand, the BBC Review Orchestra reconstructed that holiday atmosphere with music that we all know and love, like this famous piece by Mendelssohn. <laughs>
That was the BBC Review Orchestra playing as it plays in Bernstein, Mendelssohn's scherzo from his incidental music to A Midsummer Night's Dream. Another series of programs in which the orchestra was featured was called Traveller's Tales. The music played a great part in these stories of a horseback ride across Canada, a hunting trip through equatorial Africa, and other stories of endurance, courage, and adventure. We're going to play you some of the music that was specially composed for one of these programs and also let you hear a little about the triumph of the tin kettle, the voyage across the Atlantic of the Royal William, the first steamboat ever to sail that ocean. And so the Royal William lay at Big Two, Nova Scotia on the eve of her great venture. It was August, the best weather of the year. Big Two was a sheltered anchorage, but out beyond the Cabot Strait was the everlasting swell of the deep Atlantic, waiting waiting for this little vessel about the size of a modern North Sea trawler. eight hundred miles ahead of her, ahead of this tiny paddle steamer. A great storm is driving down from the Arctic. The topmast goes, the starboard engine is disabled. the storm and wins her battle with the elements, just as she triumphed over all the opposition to this first voyage of a steamship across the Atlantic. She arrives safely in the port of London.
After that excerpt from Traveller's Tales, we turn to music of a very different kind for our finale. In the popular BBC feature, Songs from the Shows, the review orchestra plays tunes from films we've enjoyed, introduces us to current hits, and takes us back to the classical musical comedies of the early days of this century. It's from one of these famous Edwardian shows that we've taken our last selection. We bring you some of the charming tunes which Oscar Strauss composed for The Chocolate Soldier. Baby. 
And so ends another edition of These Bands Make Music, which today featured the BBC Review Orchestra, led by Boris Becker and conducted by Charles Groves. Also taking part were Victoria Sladen and Reginald Mitchell with the BBC Review Chorus, Billy Campbell and Jean Crowley. Barbara McFadden introduced the programme, which was produced by Charles Maxwell in the studios of the London Transcription Service of the British Broadcasting Corporation.